Straight draw a lot. Hey guys, what's up, man? This is the book. It's raining out hot today. I had a lot of a lot of chores I had out in my garden uh, this morning, but uh, it's raining hot, so I had to bring it into the um, into the garage. Um, today I'm gonna be talking about some of my tropical uh, fruit trees that I have. Um, I had to bring them in. Um, I brought them in about a month ago because you know it started, we started getting started getting real cold out there and. They can't take the cold, but you know I keep them out. I keep them out in my yard uh, during during the spring and, and, and summer and some part of the fall stuff like that. But it's just too cold now. But anyway, here I got an avocado tree, and uh, this avocado tree is I've had it for about three years. Um, I've been pinching it back, trying to get it to uh, push out some because. Obviously, I can't let it grow too much more because um, pretty soon it's going to be a big giant tree, and I, I just can't have that. So I'm trying to—I I pinch it back so it'll kind of grow up more like a bush. So that's that's what I'm doing with this avocado. Uh, avocado. Um, so if uh, you can zoom in over here a little bit, what I'm doing here on the top here, where where the growth growth is, I just come back. And I'll pinch that out. I'll pinch that out, and that that will encourage branching from the from the main trunk of uh, of the tree to get new growth branches and stuff like that. And as they grow and they get to a certain spot, I'll pinch those back, and stuff like that. So anyway, here I'm gonna I'll be, I'll be pinching all these back here to keep it from continuously getting too tall for me. This, now this is a branch coming off the side here, and it's about, I'll say this is about eight inches. So anywhere's around six, 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 eight inches and stuff like that. I'll come back over here and I'll pinch this out. I'll pinch that out and that'll encourage more branching on, on the tree itself. A couple of these here, I let them get away from me a little bit. So this tree here, I, I want to keep it around, say about, this. it's about five feet, five, it's about five, two, five feet, somewhere around there. And um, since I do have it now inside the garage, it doesn't get as much light as, um, as it normally would. I have a window over here, but it doesn't su uh, supply enough, enough lighting uh, for it, but you know, it, it gets enough light, to, you know, over winter anyway here inside my garage. Um, when you have it like this, you should, you should, every month, every month, give it, give it uh, some nice fertilizer. Anyway, so right now what I give my, my uh, fruit trees is, is uh, some compost for my own garden and uh, some rabbit manure. I got it mixed up together, and that's that's what I give all all my my food trees, all my plants. Uh, um, so you also with your fruit trees, you don't want to overwater them. So what you want to do is you want to just stick your stick your fingers in there, and if uh, you can feel the moisture up in the first you know two inches or so, don't don't even bother watering it and stuff like that. You want to let your your your, your fruit trees dry out some when they're in the containers a little bit. You don't want to totally dry out, but you want them to dry out enough so that uh, you don't want them there sitting, having all your roots sitting in being waterlogged. So this tree is ready to go, it's, it's, it's fine. I had given it some, um, some fertilizer about last month. I'll probably wait another week or so and I'll hit it up again. Um, so. This tree is ready to go. Um, so this is an avocado. If you want to have an avocado tree yourself, they're very easy to grow. All you gotta do is uh, buy your uh, avocado at the supermarket. After you enjoy the fruit, you can just take the the seed, uh, stick it, uh, get yourself some nice uh, potting soil, and just stick it down. Maybe you say about two inches, and just keep it moist. And try to keep it in a sunny location, and you know it'll take a little time, but you'll start seeing that that uh, 
it sprout out of the ground and then you can have yourself a, an avocado tree. Uh, me, myself, I, I throw all my avocado seeds inside my compost so during the summertime or, or when I'm out there uh, turning the compost over, I find the seeds all sprouted out and that's how I, I do mines. Um, but anyway, this is an avocado and I'm gonna go ahead now and show you my mango tree. All right guys, I am back. I'm back here with my mango tree. This mango, I've had this uh, two years. I've had this mango tree for two years. Um, I started again. I started. I started this from from a mango seed that I uh, from a mango that I enjoyed. And when I got the seed, peel the the, the the hard part off off of the mango seed, and then underneath underneath that you have your your, your seed. And uh, you can just plant that, plant that into some good uh, potted soil. And again, just like a, just like an avocado, it'll you know after a little time it'll it'll sprout out. Your mango tree is it's a little bit more slow growing than than the avocado, but it you know it's a beautiful plant. As you can see, as you can zoom in on these leaves here, you can see how just how beautiful your mango leaves are. The nice nice dark green when when the new leaves as they're coming out the new leaves you can, as you can notice they're 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 a lot lighter in color the new leaves and they get they're real long the first long they're real soft and they're real long but as time goes on they'll they'll harden up like this so this mango tree I've, um, like I said I've had it about two years and what I've been doing I've been pinching it back pinching it back trying to get it to bush out because again just like the um, the avocado tree you just, you just can't let them get too tall because um, this is Georgia and it gets cold out here and um, I, you know they'll die if, 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 if you they can't survive out out in the cold so you have to bring them in so you got to try to maintain them keep them short um, I'll try to have them as a bush um, this, you know, even though it's just kind of growing like a little tree right now, but I'm pinching it, trying to get it to bush out, and uh, once it gets to a certain height, uh, I'll clip it back and I'll just make sure it's never more than five, six, seven feet, maybe seven feet at the max. Um, I don't expect these trees ever to produce any fruit for me because they just probably won't get that, uh, the temperatures that they need for long periods of time to produce fruit, but however, I enjoy growing them. They're beautiful. They're beautiful trees, and um, you know that's what you gotta do. You take care of them. Take care of them. Provide them with the the proper soil, the proper nutrients that it needs, uh, fertilizer, uh, uh, proper moisture, water, and um, you gotta make sure. Like my actually, like my avocado tree back there. This coming spring, I'm gonna uh, repot it into a bigger pot because it's starting to get a little bit too big for that pot. But you also, you don't want to um, put them into a bigger pot too early because it's just, you want to make sure that you keep them in the proper pot that that is that they need to be in during that time. Um, so anyway, this is my mango. This is my mango tree. I'm not too really sure what type of mango it is. It's just a mango that I bought in the supermarket. Um, but it's probably some mango out from Florida, but I don't, I'm not too sure uh, from where it's at. I already checked the moisture in here. The moisture is good. I had fertilized this at the same time when I fertilized my, um, my avocado tree about a month ago. So this one's ready to go and it's pretty good for another week or so. Then I'll re-fertilize uh, it. All right. Now I want to show you uh, one of my, a couple of my, uh, I got a uh, lemon tree and I also got a orange tree, which I'll be showing you. All right, guys, I'm back. Right here, I'm gonna lift this one up here. This one right here is uh, one of those sun-kissed oranges from Florida. Um, very easy to grow. Um, once you enjoy your fruit, the orange, you can take the seed, take the hot casing, peel it back, take Take uh, that the, the seed, 
after you had peel, on, peel off, you gotta make sure you peel off that, that hot paste that it has over the seed itself. You take that, um, get a wet paper towel, not too wet, just moist it up, squeeze it a little bit, just make sure maybe a drop or two in there, put the seeds in there, as many as you want, cover them up, stick them in a plastic bag, and just put them away in anywhere. And, you know, location. I, I, I usually keep my eyes out in the cupboard where I don't have nothing. And, and about within a week, you'll start seeing uh, roots forming out. After you get your, uh, your roots forming out, just get some good potting soil, put it in the soil, and, and it'll start growing for you. This one here I started growing last year, uh, last, last spring, and it's already, and as you can see, you can zoom in on it a little bit. Um, you know, it's got nice coloration, nice coloration. It's also here, it's got a lot of thorns, because uh, your citrus trees uh, do um, have thorns. So you gotta be careful not to, not to squeeze them at all. But anyway, I, I bought some nice um, potting soil. I don't remember what, what, which one it was, but it was for, for citrus trees. Also, uh, you gotta make sure that you get yourself some uh, citrus uh, plant fertilizer so that you can Give them some nice um, fertilizer because maybe they're a little bit different than than your other fruit trees. But um, I do um, give uh, the fertilizer for citrus trees to it. I, I also include, I do, I never not include some of my own co compost and some of my rabbit manure. And I do give it a little bit of a layer of that as well. And also, so you want to make sure you're fertilizing these uh, fruit trees, um, these, uh, this orange tree and the lemon trees every month. Um, right now, do, you know, it's, uh, they're in the garage, they're not in the full sun, so you wanna make sure you provide them with, with uh, fertilizer that they need, okay? So anyway, this is my orange tree, and now I'm gonna be showing you one of my lemon trees. All right. So we're back here. This here is a lemon. Um, I'm not sure what your type of lemon is. I, I don't know if it's a Myers lemon or just one of those regular other lemons in the store that um, we purchased when we were out uh, getting lemons. Um, so hopefully in a few years, maybe another, maybe another two years, three years, I won't have to buy no lemons. I have my own, my own lemons. Uh, from my lemon trees. I have about five of these um, in the same concept. Uh, enjoy your lemon, take the seeds, take the casing off of them, put the seeds in a, na a damp napkin, put it inside a, uh, a sandwich bag and just put it away in your cupboard there and just forget about it for about a week. And then they sprout very easily. The, uh, the orange and the lemons, they sprout very easily. Um, once they do sprout, just put them in some good soil, uh, some good uh, potting soil, and uh, just keep just 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 keep them keep them no, uh, moist, and also um, just let them grow. You know, for the first uh, for the first year or so, you don't need to be uh, too much worried about fertilizers and all that. You just want to get the tree growing. Once, once, you know, once you know, once it's uh, maybe about six, seven months, and it's up there, it's growing a little bit and stuff like that, you can probably start fertilizing it. Um, anyway, that's what I do. So I don't know if that's the case at all, because I'm not a professional, uh, professional in uh, citrus trees, but uh, I do get them to grow. And uh, so this is citrus tree, and it's, it's looking real good. Nice color on it. Um, I, I got in some good potting soil. I, I, I check it for moisture all the time. Um, I always check my fruit trees. I, I stay in the garden. I'm a person that I garden all year long, all year long. So I'm always checking on my fruit trees, uh, anything that I grow. Um, so this, anyway, this this uh, lemon tree, as you see on it, it's got some nice color on it. It's growing good. So uh, hopefully in the next, um, 
Next couple years, I'll have some lemons. All right, so I'm back here. I just wanted to uh, give you all a, a quick glimpse of, um, of all my uh, fruit trees that I have grown inside my garage right now. Brought them in, like I said earlier in the video, uh, due to the cold weather. Um, so they're gonna be in here for the winter, and then I'll put them back outside as soon as uh, spring comes. But as you can see, I got a whole bunch of other ones, little ones. Yeah, this is a small, small mango, and I got other, a whole bunch of other lemons, and uh, some rosemary, throw everything and stuff like that. Um, so anyway, I'm gonna end the video here. I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, please, uh, if you can, uh, if you can subscribe to my channel and like my channel. As always, peace from the bull.